was Pan by Benjamin Britten, the first of his metamorphoses after Ovid. I'm Nicholas Daniel. I'm artistic director of the Leicester International Music Festival, which is why I'm playing for you and talking to you today. If you listen to the end of my little speech, I will play again. I think at this time, an easy thing to do would be to take cover and hide as artists and to wait for the storm to pass. The thing is, I can't do that because I think it's clear that a life without music, without live music, is going to be a lesser life, a less multicoloured, a less three-dimensional life. So in Leicester, what we've decided to do, as some of you may know, is to do an online festival. But there's two aspects of that which are extensions to it. So our crowdfunder has been extended and the target has been raised. The first of those things is that we have gone into partnership with the Countess of Munster Musical Trust and we are giving a platform to eight of their uh, recital scheme artists and they are going to do lunchtime recitals for us, short, shortish lunchtime recitals which we're going to broadcast through the year until Christmas on Thursdays and this will be a way for our regular audience in Leicester to get their fix of music which I suspect by the winter you're going to be needing actually. Um, and it's also a way of giving these young musicians some work, some airplay, some oxygen of what they need, uh, which is to perform. And we're recording them in our own space in the museum. The other thing that we're extending the crowdfunder for is to help two older generation composers appear in the festival. And obviously the older generation, the 70 plus year olds, have had a pretty horrible time during the lockdown and even now to an extent it's very hard for them and composing anyway is quite an isolated business so it seems right to support both David Matthews and Ellen Alberga. Alberga is going to be our composer in association she's got a piece in every program and David Matthews has written us a specific piece which is two movements for oboe and piano which I'm going to play with Anna Tilbrook and those are a special commission because David found he'd got some time at the beginning of the lockdown. He wanted to write it um, and he's written a lot for me in the past. And I think it's a fantastic thing to do a world premiere at this time. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Um, so that's the reasons why we want more money, why we need more money. <laughs> some of you have been incredibly generous. Many of you have donated already. Some of you have even donated twice, which is above and beyond the call of duty thank you and thank you so much for your gorgeous comments on our crowdfunder um, it does help us really understand that there's a need for what we're doing for you and and that there will be a an audience ready for us when this whole nightmare is over um, so if you can click on the link and also if you're a, t a british taxpayer you can uh, gift aid your donation to us and that will give us a little bit more money as well and let's keep the music going and let's keep let's keep life three-dimensional and multicolor and and not just the sort of gray masked silence like the supermarkets so um here is some telemann the last movement of his fantasia number no. five in c major <laughs> 